course, the 1975 Timbers as revered today as they were 40 years ago. That first year club made it all the way to the North American Soccer League Championship match. Of course, Portland losing to Tampa Bay. The Rowdies back then 2 0. But the road to the soccer ball, that's where the legend of the tales grow from that original club. We continue our 40th anniversary look now with the final member added in 75, Willie Anderson from Liverpool, living right in the middle of Timber Mania. Kelly controls for Portland. He goes to the corner to Anderson. Anderson has some space, tips it across in front. There's the shot. You know, we put soccer on the map. You know, it's never looked back since 75. Still got the hair. Yeah, only different <laughs> color. <laughs> Willie Anderson's arrival in Portland in the summer of 1975 was half a chance, while knocking back a few with another original timber, Brian Godfrey. I went to watch him play in, back in England, and uh, we were having a beer after, and he just said to me, hey, you know what I'm doing this summer? I said, no, what's that? He said, I'm going to play in the States. I just went, wow, that sounds great. And we talked about it. He said, well, Vic's doing it, Vic Crow. And I thought, well, just tell Vic I'd be interested. And two days later, Vic called me, put a deal together with my team. And the reason I came out, I think, two weeks after everybody else is my team was in the cup final there. And I played in that, and I think I flew out two days later. So you come across to the States in 75, maybe thinking you're here that one summer, and then look, now it's 2015, and you still call yeah. this place home. You know, I came out because it wouldn't come out, you know. I looked at it as a paid holiday for my, me and my family, and, you know, something about America for English people is just kind of, you know, amazing. And I thought, why not? Yeah, I had no idea where I was coming. You know, I said to Vic, well, where is it? He said, Portland, I never heard of it. Where's Oregon? No clue. He said, it's next to California. And I said, well, the weather's great then. <laughs> and he went, yeah, great, just like California. And that was that. First two weeks, I was here, it rained every you got, day. You yeah. got hoodwinked a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I just got lucky. I came to maybe the greatest place on earth. And, you know, I could have gone to somewhere like Hartford or somewhere like that and hated it, you know, and never come back to America. But I was done and dusted here after two months. It was like, whoa. Like Clive Charles and Bill Irwin, Willie played for Cardiff City before coming over on loan to play for Vic Crow. He'd know when we go out drinking and he'd go, hey guys, have a good time. And the next morning he'd run you to death, you know. <laughs> but we'd, we'd appreciate that, you know. I can't argue with that. Yeah. And he just kept us on a straight and narrow, you know. We knew it was going to be hard. The only way we could play was hard. And then you wouldn't let anybody else down. Everybody had that, hey, you know, spit it. Hey, let's get out of it. Kill them. Kill them they did at the gates at Multnomah Stadium. And the crowd just kept going, you know, bigger and bigger until the end. I think we drew like 33,000 against St. Louis. It was amazing. It, you know what? It's a shame because you could never repeat that. That's Willie Anderson will kick it from this veneer corner. Just, we were a one-off, but it was so great to be part of it. So it was just like maybe the best four months of my life, soccer-wise, ever, ever. After missing out on the Timbers' rough 76 season, Anderson returned to the Timbers from 77 to 82. I think that was near the end of the... In fact, that could have been the last game we ever played. Before that demise of the club and eventually the league. From the NASL to this thriving MLS, it's the support in Soccer City that never wavers. We have this tremendous crowd who never boo. I mean, I played in England where you're having a bad game and the home supporters are booing you. you know? yeah. It's like, oh my God. But here, they never get a bad word said to them. Yeah. So, they, you know, you can't lose your confidence that way here. We're back in England, you know, the home crowd get at you, you lose your confidence, so you, lose, you don't play too well. But here, these guys are getting cheered on no matter what they do, which is great. So I hope they appreciate it, because they're not going to get it better anywhere else. Always great talking to Willie. His youngest daughter of five plays soccer and lacrosse at Central Catholic is for himself. Well, he's semi-retired. He calls himself coaching the Riverdale girls and also an account executive at a classic radio station here in Portland.